Lesson number 10 contains a lot of practical slicers and filtering tricks that will help you to uh, get out more of uh, slicers and uh, all the filters you can apply inside a pivot table. And we start by creating a text slicer. So what, what do we imagine at, uh, at the end? I would like to have a search bar where I just insert a particular text like Xerox and I find all of the information for my product name containing this text, but not only for a, a single uh, pivot table, but I want this pivot table uh, or this uh, slicer to work globally for the whole uh, report. Let's start by inserting <clears throat> Let's start by inserting a single pivot table that will show us sales by, uh, let's say, region. We will copy this one and paste it somewhere next to it. And let's try to show uh, some of sales by the year coming from the order deck. These are two uh, pivot tables that I right now want to filter by the product name. So I'm just copying and pasting uh, this pivot table once again and on the rows shelf of my uh, third pivot table I will place there the product name. Right now uh, you can see this uh, product name is just a, a column but if I will apply a search bar by looking for the Xerox uh, products I can easily filter just the information I need. The problem and the challenge in here is that it does not influence in any way my other pivot tables. And there is no such a search bar uh, option inside a slicer. But there is a nice trick uh, in which we can create a slicer, connect it to a table, to a pivot table, and then connect the same slicer to other pivot tables to build the bridge between uh, the pivot table filters. Uh, it's going to look like this. Uh, I'm inserting uh, right now a slicer on the same field, which is product name. You can see, although I do the selection only on the uh, auto filter icon, it actually influences back the slicer too. So right now, if I go for the report connections and connect this particular slicer to my um, other pivot tables, you can see it. it's like filtering back those pivot tables too. What uh, it means, if I change my selection and ask right now just for the Zoom products, after hitting OK, you will see that I pick three products and you can see uh, the other uh, fields to be filtered in there. Uh, what is more, you can hide the slicer because it's not um, necessary on this uh, report. You just need to t uh, have it and turn it on. But later you can go, for example, to the selection pane and you can hide the slicer itself. And what is more, you don't need all of this information inside your pivot table. So, for example, you can uh, go to for the design design tab and turn off the grand totals. You can rename uh, what you have in the header of the pivot table. For example, use search bar to find products. We will decrease a bit the size of the uh, pivot table. And what is more, I will also set pivot table options uh, to turn off the auto feed column width on, on the update. That is how my pivot table will always contain all of uh, the necessary information. Uh, what can we do more? We can turn on the light um, layout of a pivot table and uh, we can even try to turn off the all of the borders and also make the text white. And right now you just go for the search bar, hit what you wish, confirm by hitting OK. Uh, the list of the products will be generated in here, but you don't need to bother with that. The most important thing is uh, you're able to quickly filter uh, the products you wish.